The Bepi Colombo spacecraft has completed its fourth flyby of Mercury, sending back breathtaking close-up images of the scorching world. This also marks the first time Earth has received images from Mercury's south pole from the probe. During this flyby, Bepi Colombo approached Mercury from its night side, the dark half of the planet. With the sun gradually illuminating the cratered landscape as the spacecraft zoomed past, at its closest point, Bepi Colombo flew just 165 kilometers, a little over 100 miles above the planet's surface, providing an incredibly detailed look at its rugged terrain. These images are not only visually stunning, but are also critical for helping scientists better understand Mercury's geology and evolution. Just four minutes after its closest approach, on September 4th, Bepi Colombo was greeted by an awe-inspiring sight, a massive peak ring basin. A peak ring crater is a specific type of impact crater with a ring of elevated terrain or peaks surrounding the central depression rather than a single central peak. The rings form by different processes and inner rings may not be formed by the same processes as the outer rings. These enormous craters on Mercury, formed by the immense force of asteroid or comet impacts, span anywhere between 80 and 205 miles. What makes these basins fascinating is the ring of peaks rising from the otherwise flat floors, giving them their unique name. This particular crater is named Vivaldi, after the legendary composer Antonio Vivaldi. Stretching 130 miles wide, the crater's landscape came alive in Bepi Colombo's view, and because the probe saw it so close to the sunrise line, its landscape is beautifully emphasized by shadow. A striking feature of Vivaldi is a break in the ring of peaks, where more recent lava flows spilled in, reshaping the ancient basin. Just a couple of minutes later, another remarkable peak ring basin came into Bepi Colombo's view, this one spanning 96 miles across. Unlike others, this crater had special significance for the mission team. Thanks to a request from the MCAM team, this ancient crater was recently named Stoddard. It honors Margaret Stoddard, a New Zealand artist renowned for her beautiful flower paintings during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Mercury's peak ring basins are fascinating because much of their formation remains a mystery. Scientists believe the rings of peaks are created by a rebound process during the impact, but it's unknown how deep beneath the surface this material was originally uplifted from. The images captured during this flyby are some of Bepi Colombo's most detailed yet, taken from its closest approach with Mercury's surface brilliantly lit by the sun. These snapshots reveal a landscape scarred by 4.6 billion years of relentless bombardment from asteroids and comets, each crater telling a story of the planet's turbulent history. It's important to remember that these incredible images are a bonus. The MCAMs weren't actually designed to capture Mercury, but to monitor the spacecraft itself, particularly during the critical phase right after launch. Those cameras provide black and white snapshots with a resolution of 1024 by 1024 pixels. While impressive, the real show is yet to come. Bepi Colombo's main science camera, currently shielded during the spacecraft's journey, is expected to deliver much higher resolution images once it reaches orbit, offering an even more detailed look at Mercury's mysterious surface. Bepi Colombo was launched in 2018 and is set to enter Mercury's orbit in November 2026. This long journey often raises a common question. Why does it take so long to reach Mercury when a spacecraft like Cassini reached Saturn over a billion miles away in the same amount of time? The answer lies in three major challenges that make reaching Mercury particularly difficult. First, there's the issue of high initial velocity. When Bepi Colombo launched from Earth, it carried the momentum of Earth's gravitational pull, giving it a high speed. But to be captured by Mercury's weaker gravity, it must slow down significantly, a process that requires several flybys and complex maneuvers. The second challenge is the Sun's gravitational pull. Because Mercury orbits so close to the Sun, Bepi Colombo is constantly being pulled towards the Sun's immense gravity. 
Flying directly to Mercury would require impractical amounts of fuel to slow down enough to avoid falling into the sun. Lastly, there are heat considerations. As Bepi Colombo approaches the sun, it has to endure extreme temperatures. Advanced shielding and cooling systems are crucial to protect the spacecraft's delicate instruments, making this journey even more complex. Bepi Colombo's journey to Mercury has been marked by several significant flybys, each serving as a crucial role in adjusting its trajectory and velocity. The Earth flyby on April 10, 2020 marked the first major milestone of Bepi Colombo's journey. This maneuver redirected the spacecraft towards the inner solar system, setting it up for the Venus flybys that followed. During the Earth flyby, Bepi Colombo passed within 12,000 miles of our planet, reducing its velocity by approximately 3 miles per second relative to the Sun. This slowdown saved about 450 kilograms of propellant, a crucial fuel-saving measure for the long journey ahead. On October 15, 2020, Bepi Colombo conducted its first Venus flyby to further refine its trajectory towards Mercury. This maneuver utilized Venus's gravity to adjust the spacecraft's speed and direction, allowing it to change its path in a way that saved energy and kept it on course. The flyby was a critical step, as it set the stage for the second encounter with Venus. The second Venus flyby took place on August 10, 2021, and served a similar purpose. However, this time, the spacecraft recorded something unique. It listened to the sound of the solar wind at Venus as it flew just 340 miles above the planet's surface. Bepi Colombo recorded the audio with its magnetometer instrument, providing a rare glimpse into the interaction between the stream of charged particles flowing from the Sun and the thick carbon dioxide rich atmosphere of the Earth's closest planetary neighbor. The audio is not the actual sound that could be heard in space, but a so-called sonification. The first Mercury flyby occurred on October 1, 2021, and marked a major achievement for the mission. Passing within 125 miles of Mercury's surface, Bepi Colombo captured detailed images and valuable data about the planet's geology. This flyby was the first of six planned encounters and was crucial for adjusting the spacecraft's trajectory as it approached its final destination. On June 23, 2022, Bepi Colombo completed its second Mercury flyby, bringing it even closer to the planet's orbit. During this encounter, the spacecraft passed at an altitude of 120 miles, capturing more images of Mercury's surface and further reducing its velocity. The third Mercury flyby took place a year later, on June 19, 2023. The spacecraft came within 147 miles of the planet's surface. The incremental changes in speed are key to ensuring Bepi Colombo is in the correct position for orbital insertion when it arrives at Mercury. Initially, Bepi Colombo's Mercury orbital insertion was planned for December 2025. However, on May 15, 2024, the European Space Agency reported a technical issue during a critical maneuver. A glitch on April 26 prevented the spacecraft's thrusters from operating at full power, impacting the mission's progress. By September 2, 2024, the agency provided an update, explaining that a revised trajectory had been developed to address the issue. This adjustment, necessitated by the reduced thrust, added 11 months to the spacecraft's journey. As a result, the expected arrival date at Mercury has been pushed from December 5, 2025 to November 2026. This delay ensures that Bepi Colombo can continue its mission safely, despite the unexpected challenges. The mission is sent to answer several unanswered questions about Mercury, one of the least understood planets in our solar system. One key mystery is Mercury's magnetic field. While Earth and Mercury are the only rocky planets with magnetic fields, 
Mercury's is much weaker. Understanding how Mercury maintains its magnetic field, despite its small size, could offer insights into planetary magnetism and the evolution of other planets. Another question concerns Mercury's unusually high density. Scientists are puzzled by its large iron core, which makes up about 85% of its radius. Bepi Colombo will investigate how this dense core formed and whether Mercury underwent a unique formation process, shedding light on planetary formation in general. Mercury's surface composition and geological history also remain a mystery. Bepi Colombo will help unravel the planet's history of volcanic activity, surface tectonics, and the mysterious hollows scattered across its surface. Lastly, Bepi Colombo will study Mercury's thin exosphere and how it interacts with the solar wind, providing a better understanding of how planets without substantial atmospheres behave when exposed to solar radiation. These findings could reshape our understanding of Mercury and the inner solar system. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular space updates. See you in the next video.